Hey guys and gals, it's Joe Kelly again. This week, we are going to talk about applying the risk reward calculator. So last week's episode, we introduced that calculator, and now we're going to give some chart examples on how to apply it in your trading. If you were going to say, let's say, uh, short the lines that Bao talks about and buy the outer lines that Bao talks about. So short the upper outer lines and buy the lower outer lines. All right, so if this is our chart, here's what we're going to do when we're going to apply this technical analysis. We're just going to break down the chart and the simple support and resistance. And once today's chart opens, we are going to play those outer resistance lines and the outer support lines, long and short. And we're going to apply the risk reward calculator based on that. So let's identify our lines of support and resistance that we would play off of. So obviously right here around the 1.5 area, this would probably be pretty key, right? Because you've got, you've got resistance and then it acted as support again. And then up here around two, you've got another line that is an outer line as well. So really your lines here are 1.5, Two and then after 1.5, you can probably expect like 1.3 right here. That's going to be key. And then you're going to go all the way back down here. But this is probably, let's say that in this example, you had probably like some low volume over here or something. And that way that, you know, over here, you're not really focusing on that too much. So these are your lines to play off of. You've got 1.3, 1 1.5, 2. Now, let's say that today at the open, this opens right about here, okay? And in the morning, we get this washout. So since it opens so close to this 1.5, you probably should skip that and look to the outer line at 1.3. So let's say it dips down here. Now, we're going to go ahead and apply our risk-reward calculator at this point. All right, so in this example, we're gonna use a percentage of account and we are going to use this with a $5,000 account and we're gonna say a 1% risk. So that's gonna give us a $50 max loss just based on the account size. So now let's apply a stop and a profit target. So for a, if we're gonna scale around the 1.3 line in that area and uh, we wanna target of 1.5, our stop, let's pick 1.1, let's just say 20 cents below the scale zone. So that's gonna give us an earliest entry of 120. Now that is using a three to one risk reward scenario. So what that says is that I have three to one risk reward if I'm risking 110 with a target of 150 and my earliest entry can be 120 and no sooner. 